epidermal growth factor is responsible for a wide range of important biological processes such as cell growth and proliferation. Its receptor, epidermal growth factor receptor, or EGFR, has been studied extensively for its affinity to bind EGF and propagate growth signals throughout the cell. The EGFR, a type 1 single-pass transmembrane protein, contains a large N-terminal extracellular module comprised of four domains. The extracellular module of EGFR exists in primarily one of two conformational states, tethered or extended. The four extracellular domains are curled in on each other, hiding a structure called the dimerization arm. In the extended state, the four domains stretch out in a 130-degree arc, exposing the dimerization arm. The now accessible dimerization arm permits coupling with another extended EGFR monomer, forming a homodimer. While it has been previously suggested that this conformational change and dimerization are dependent on the binding of the ligand EGF, new evidence suggests that its motion is more fluid. Driven by the thermodynamics of free energy landscape, EGFR explores many conformational ensembles in a search for the most energy-stable state independent of ligand binding. This allows EGFR to dimerize without its ligands bound. However, this dimer is unstable and may uncouple unless EGF is present. When EGF binds to the EGFR dimer, it becomes stabilized, and after the second EGF binds, further changes within the transmembrane and intracellular domains propagate signals for growth into the cell. EGFR's role in signaling the growth of the cell has been implicated in the foundation of some cancers. When the genes coding EGFR experience mutation, the resulting overexpression of the receptor causes the uncontrolled cell proliferation of oncogenesis, giving rise to efforts in the field of oncology to develop therapeutics that target EGFR.